This is an interesting story, but the, the guitar you're speaking of, the 335 that I play all the time, it's stock. Yeah, I haven't done anything to it. Maybe was it three years ago or two years ago now? A couple of years ago, got a letter from a fan. Where do you live? Because you're in North Dakota. Sweetest letter. And bottom line was, he said, I have a guitar, and it's this one, just like Larry's. Same year, same serial numbers are very close. It's not been played in a very, very long time. And I don't play anymore, the guy said. He said, I would like to send it to Larry as a gift. And if he likes it, he can keep it with no strings attached. And if he doesn't care for it, then please send it back. Well, how are you going to turn down an offer like that to at least <laughs> check it out, you know? <clears throat> I mean, the sweetest thing, you know, it's like I want to give you something for all the music you've given me over the years. So, Rick, you might want to finish because you actually got in touch with him and met with his brother or something. It was very, very cool. Right, exactly. Uh, it's an interesting story because at first I, I didn't believe that that was actually going to happen. Um, but Larry's number one um, is a 69. Uh, but it's very unique because it has a single piece mahogany neck, which means the neck was made in 68. They stopped making those. Um, so it had to be an early run in 69. Anyway, so we get this letter about this 68, and um, the guy's cousin actually happened to be coming to Nashville for fanfare from uh, Brainerd, Minnesota. Anyway, so he sends the guitar with him, and I meet him in town, and, and I get it. Call Larry and say, well, I got this thing if you want to check it out. And we met at a place where we often meet um, near our houses. And um, took it out of the case, and I opened it up, and, and um, this was a real lesson for me. Larry walks up to it, and, and he just acoustically, now we're outside, and the case is open. He didn't even pick it up. He just plays the first string, and he goes, rich. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, and then he felt the neck, and he goes, oh, a little smaller, but it feels really good. And then he played it for a while, and he said, this is amazing. And it really is just a thoroughly amazing guitar. And, um, and then we went on to do some modifications.